Hey guys, so because of uh, or overwhelming responses and um, inquiries about the follow-up with Tannis Armour from Tannis, um, I thought I'd just shoot this quick little video, um, an unboxing, um, their new compound. So quick backstory, 30 seconds, let's see if I can do it. I had high hopes for Tannis Armour. I have I believe in Tannis and uh, I would love to be proven wrong for sure for the future because it would change the cycling industry but Tannis armor was gonna prevent uh, punctures it's thick foam thin on the sides to, to offer um, sidewall protection and puncture protection the problem is they recommend uh, de completely deflating your tires uh, every single time you use them so at the end of your rides deflate your tires if not these things go into a uh, bubblegum pancake. They just flatten right out. So after about one month of use, mine flattened out and it was, uh, yeah, I was not happy. I had to uh, walk home with my bike and a big, big trailer with like 300 pounds of cargo on it. Um, so usually I swear by Mr. Tuffy's or doubling or tripling up with tubes um, until this came. I had high hopes for it. Now I don't, unfortunately. So customer service, um, they were awesome from Tannis. They sent a new set right away um, to try with the promise that it's a new compound. When I asked what that means, they never got back to me. So anyways, so this is what they are. I don't know. Looks like more bubblegum pan pancakes to me. So that's what they are. So these obviously are uh, virgin. So they have like an inch to an inch and a quarter worth of foam in the middle. And then thin sidewalls for sidewall protection. Anyways, so, so they say that's a new compound. It looks and feels exactly the same. Um, so that's that's pretty much all I have to report back to you. If you guys want to come, if you're in Montreal or in the area, and you want a set of uh, untouched virgin uh, Tannis armor, call me. Um, you can even have this if you want. It's a it's a bit flat. It did spring back. So they said, oh, put it in uh, warm water, set it in the sun for uh, a couple of days. I have no time for that. I did it. After two months, it bounced back maybe to um, about three times to four times the width of the sidewall. So what is that going to do as soon as I put this back in my tire? I can't, I can't deal with that, man. I ain't got no time for that. So I still love the concept. I, I believe in the company, but um, I'm definitely disappointed. Um, and they've lost business until, come on Tannis, you can do this. You can pull through um, uh, Tannis Armor Gate and, um, and show us what, what you're made of because uh, we need you um, and you need us. So that's how, that's how business works and you can improve on this. So anyways, guys, if, if you want to, to go ahead and, and use this for your uh, puncture protection, uh, I would recommend not. I'd go with uh, doubling or tripling up with an old tube um, or and or Mr. Tuffy. So that's what I would do uh, instead of getting uh, buying into uh, Tannis. And I think they're like 80 bucks each in Canada, 90 bucks each. I forget what they were. But anyways, I'll, I'll give you a deal if you want to come and pick them up downtown Montreal. I'll give you a good deal.